I want you to think of one thing that could make you happy over the course of your life. And not like tacos or Harry Potter, something that could actually sustain your happiness for many years. You can say anything you like, but to measure it scientifically, we would have to study you at regular intervals for most of your life. Luckily, that study has already been done. The Harvard Grant Study began in 1938 and it followed 268 male undergraduate students for more than 70 years. It planned to track them over their entire lives. So it measured a whole bunch of psychological and physiological traits like their personality, IQ and the function of their major organs. Because it was so huge, it had so many findings. Like, your financial success is more dependent on the warmth of your relationships than intelligence. And cigarette smoking was the single greatest factor that contributed to the men's deaths. When George Valent, the lead researcher of the study for more than 30 years, was asked what was the single greatest finding from it, he said it was the capacity for intimate relationships that predicted flourishing in all aspects of the men's lives. Happiness is love. What these 70 odd years of research suggest is that love is all you need. But it doesn't necessarily mean having a long relationship or marriage with a partner. The study looked at the men's relationship with their parents and how that affected them over the course of their lives. The men who had a warm relationship with their mother as a child earned an average of $87,000 a year more than men who had an uncaring mother. And those with an uncaring mother were more likely to develop dementia later in life. The warmth of the men's relationship with their fathers was correlated with enjoying vacations more and greater life satisfaction at age 75. The findings are super interesting. Of course, correlation doesn't equal causation. Another researcher, John Gottman, set up the Love Lab in the 80s, where he asked newlyweds to talk about their relationship while he measured things like their heart rate and how much sweat they produced. He observed two groups, the masters who spoke calmly about their partner and stayed married, and the disasters who eventually broke up. When the disasters spoke about their partner, they were in fight or flight mode. They had a fast heartbeat and produced a greater amount of sweat. When they thought about their partner, it was like they were being approached by an ill-tempered sea bass. Of course, these people were open to having an intimate relationship, just the one they were in was a disaster. From his decades of research, Gottman suggests that lasting relationships come down to two basic traits kindness and generosity. And if, like the Harvard Grand Study suggests, our relationships with our family are so important to our happiness and life satisfaction, offering more kindness and generosity in those is surely beneficial. So it seems being open to love is all you need. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and if you don't already, show a bit of love and subscribe to Braincraft. I have a new episode out every Thursday. That's the last Thursday.